Welcome back to another race breakdown. I'm Kevin Sully, and today we're taking a look at another Penn Relays race. This time we're going back to 2016, the Women's Championship of America collegiate section, which featured Oregon, Tennessee, South Carolina, UTEC out of Jamaica, among others. And it was a very exciting race featuring a dynamic anchor leg from none other than Raven Rogers, something that we would go on to see multiple times during her time at Oregon. Also, some other big stars there, particularly Jamaica, has Sharika Jackson and Geneve Russell on this team as well. Oregon in the middle of the track. There you see UTEC there on the gold on top. Obviously, Tennessee with that familiar orange. Getting right now for the first exchange. So Oregon will be passing to Deja Stevens, whereas UTEC will be passing to none other than Sharika Jackson. That's right. Former 400-meter runner. Now she's a 100 and 200 meter specialist, obviously medaled at the most recent Olympics. But up until a few years ago, she was getting a bunch of medals in the 400. And you can see why she started her career as a 400 meter runner. She's going to run an awesome leg right here. South Carolina still out in front, though. Everybody else bunched together with UTEC, Tennessee, and Oregon giving chase. So that is Jackson right there and Deja Stevens of Oregon right behind her. This thing's going to get tighter and tighter. Now, there's been faster Penn Relays women's collegiate 4x4s in the past, but I picked this one just because it was a close race and it featured, obviously, some big names that we still talk about today. Here's the exchange from two to three. Oregon's going to Brooke Feldmeyer here in the green. So they're in third behind South Carolina and UTEC, Tennessee, desperately giving chase in that fourth spot, trying to remain in contact on this third leg. Now, Oregon obviously has Raven Rogers coming up. She's a sophomore, but she had already asserted herself as a big player. UTEC's going to have Geneve Russell. She was fourth at the most recent Olympic Games in the 400-meter hurdles, which was the best 400-meter hurdle race in women's history. So there's definite firepower here on this last leg. Oregon catching up, but all four teams are still in contention. Rogers actually gets the baton first. South Carolina is to her inside, and Rogers is able to move in and get that pole position, though, and UTEC and Tennessee follow closely behind. So that's Russell for UTEC and Rogers for Oregon. Now, Rogers, throughout her time with the Ducks, between pen relays, between NCAA indoors, outdoors, she just established herself as the go-to person for these 4 by 4 anchor legs. In clutch situations, you want Raven Rogers, and this is why. She lets... UTEC go past her here, and partly because she has that 800-meter strength, but also because Raven Rogers just knows how to run an anchor leg. She got her doctorate degree, I think, in running anchor legs while at U of O because she gives up the lead, but she knows, hey, I'm just going to stay on the inside rail. I'm going to have plenty of opportunities to pass in the last 100. And that's exactly what happens here. She runs the shortest distance until it's her time to move, and then look at this move from Raven Rogers just did a great job conserving energy and now she's going to unleash that kick now she's going to show why she's such a strong 800 meter runner who has the ability to close hard in these four by four legs she takes the win close to race for second there between Tennessee and UTEC and then South Carolina gets in there for fourth times on the board there all in the 330s Let's look over at some of these splits. It is interesting to see Rogers 51-29, Tennessee's anchor, Felicia Majors 51-46, Russell 51-38, and Holmes for South Carolina 52.66. She didn't blow anybody away with that last split. What was impressive, though, was the patience, was the timing, was her basically really thinking her way through that anchor leg and doing exactly what she needed to do and putting herself in that right spot. So very exciting race there in that women's 4x4 from 2016. All time, now, the next year, the Ducks would go on, smash that time, run 324, which is the Penn Relays event record for the Championship of America women's collegiate 4x4. Uh, two years prior to this, Texas, 325. I was going to show that one, but it was just such a blowout. It was Texas from the get-go. Nothing much to look at other than just to behold all the splits. But right now, 324, still the meet record for Oregon, maybe this year it will go down. Remember, this year's pen relays are live on Flow Track. Check that out at the end of April. Stay tuned to the Flow Track YouTube page for more race breakdowns. We'll talk to you guys next time.